how heart itself try to prevent a heart attack the first important thing is what we call as a collaterals so when a patient has a block then the block will not lead to a hundred percent blood shutdown to the distal area it means the block will not cause a total reduction in blood flow the reason is even if there is a block somehow the body developed a new vessel around the blocked artery and these new vessels are called collaterals or angiogenesis small vessels these micro vessels can able to carry the blood across the blocked artery and get into the area where there is supposed to be a deficiency of blood flow but because of this collateral the deficiency is reduced or sometimes even eliminated so the important question is many people ask me is really this new vessel can form well there are treatment to improve this new vessel one of the important treatment which we offer is called enhanced external counter pulsation treatment which can able to stimulate this new vessel around the blocked artery but it is not the case just because of ecp is not there not everybody is going to get a heart attack so the nature when you don't even have a heart disease also nature will have a plan b mechanism and they formed what we call as a preformed collaterals so these are all the vessel which is already present in your heart even before you develop a heart disease so this is what we call as a collaterals so once the block appear because there is a no flow into the main vessel the pressure will cause this collaterals to open so many patient this new collateral formation is becoming a very slow process because of the risk factor which i mentioned earlier when all this risk factor is there this collateral formation may take some time so during this time if you want to improve the collateral and prevent you getting a heart attack this is what eecp helps and as i said nature is also provided a collateral and eecp can able to enhance the collateral ischemic preconditioning it looks like a little bit of a technical word but i can make it simple so everybody can understand so ischemic preconditioning means let us say a patient have a heart disease so routinely if you ask a patient how long do you have a uh, chest pain they always come up with a uh, information like a 3 year 3 months or a 4 months or a 6 months so for a 6 months they consistently have chest pain on and off so when this chest pain is present what your heart does is it try to taste what is called the lack of blood flow so the lack of blood flow it is going to going to cause a ischemia or a chest pain so when it is consistently there for long period of time the heart is preconditioned or it got used to this chest pain so when there is a major reduction in blood flow and if you are going to suffer a heart attack because of this preconditioning the damage to the heart will be very minimal so even if you have a heart attack the muscle damage will be less so this is what we call as a second mechanism by which the heart can able to prevent the heart attack the third mechanism by which the heart try to protect itself from a heart attack so we all know the blood flow through the blood vessel now this blood vessel is not like a lead pipe or a heart pipe it's actually a very elastic pipe which can able to uh, dilate and constrict so this pipe has been lined inside by what we call a specialized cell and these cells are called endothelial cell so when you have a problem of blood flow so when there is a reduced blood flow to the heart muscle then the signal reaches this cell and what the cell does is it releases a molecule which is called nitric oxide which is just a kind of a molecule which can able to dilate the blood vessel so once the vessels are dilated so the blood flow is going to increase so by naturally increasing the blood flow through the vessel the heart will try to prevent the heart attack or if the heart attack is already happening it try to slow down or reduce the uh, damage caused by this heart attack the final one or we call as a fourth mechanism by which the heart protect itself now this is very interesting so what happen is when there is a block so you have various option which i have discussed which can able to dilate the vessel precondition the myocardium and form new vessel around the blocked arteries but sometimes all this mechanism may not able to play role because what happen is when there is a block suddenly there is a clot which is formed in the block and completely occlude the vessel so there is no time for all this mechanism to start happening to prevent a heart attack so at that point of time this final mechanism plays so this is called fibrinolysis so what happened the body releases certain lytic component or some of this enzyme which can able to immediately uh, dissolve these clots so once the clot is dissolved the patient is uh, prevented getting a full heart attack 
So altogether, what we are trying to tell you is, it is a nature which tried to prevent a heart attack much better than what human can do to another human to prevent a heart attack. So once you have a chest pain, it is not the end of the world. Your body will try to do as much as it can to prevent a heart attack and improve your life. So what we should do is, when you have a problem and if it is chronic or if you are stable, then you should give time for these natural mechanisms to start happening. And what you should do is, you should only support so that this natural mechanism can take a full time so that it can able to resolve the flow so that is why we say wait watch with lifestyle management medical management EECP treatment as an option to improve the blood flow so when all these mechanisms fail then you have a final high-risk option which are bypass and angioplasty